Miss goodbyes, shared memories. The simple telephone booth offers a way for you to share messages with your lost loved ones. The group, the Positive Painting Project, just installed a place to heal wounds in Mill Millvale. And I am here now with the co-founder. We have Elisa Wysong and Lisa Seal, an artist and community organizer. Thank you for coming on today and Thank telling you. us more Thank about you. this. What a powerful thing to, we, this kind of sparked a conversation, I'll tell you, in, in our newsroom about how so often we are robbed of those opportunities to say goodbye to our loved ones. Is that how this project came to be? Well, um, sort of, yeah. Um, two years ago, my husband and I lost our teenage daughter. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. And um, we, at the time, a friend of mine rec recommended this book. It's called The Phone Booth at the Edge of the World. And it's a powerful, beautiful story about grief and healing. And um, at the center of it is this telephone booth. It's a disconnected phone in a garden in Japan. And, um, you know, I had heard that there were these telephones other places. So I got online. There are two interactive maps to locate these phones. And there was probably one in Philadelphia, it looked like. But Pittsburgh didn't have one. Yeah. So Pittsburgh needed one. And um, since we were already connected with the community through Positive Painting Project, it seemed a good fit for our mission in, in honoring our daughter and um, a great mission for a friend, uh, Nancy Goldberg, who owns Artspiration or runs a nonprofit called Artspiration. And, and their goal is to really create community through creativity and, and art. So I reached out to her and she put together this team, introduced me to Brian Wolovich, who's in Millvale and Lisa. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing that story too. I know I can't imagine how hard it is to to share some of that. So thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And Lisa, tell me about your involvement in all of this. So I um, I, I met through Brian. Um, Brian and I have known each other. We worked together to to bring the Millvale Library to uh, to fruition, and um, it was so great to to be involved in another project with him. And he said, you're gonna really relate to this one. You're gonna like it. Yeah. And um, so it gave me a chance to, to meet Elisa and Todd. And um, it just, their, their story and the, the whole project just spoke to me. Then when Elisa said I needed to read the book, I was <laughs> heading on vacation the very next day and said, I will go read that book. I took it with me to the beach and read the book. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole project just, uh, it just, really touched me. So how do you use the, the phone booth? How does it work? Well, I mean, like I said, it's open to the community. Um, once we have a, a few more things to, to take care of and then we'll open it, um, anyone can come and enjoy the garden. And we always say, you know, from the book, there's, there's a line about finding comfort and, and healing in just even being in the garden but then being able to, to use the telephone and, and dial, it's got a rotary dial, which you know really you get to connect with in a different way than a touch tone. Um, and then you, do, you say what you need to say uh, and connect with your lost loved ones. Is there something about, you know, sometimes even if you're giving yourself a, a pep talk, sometimes saying it out loud can be soothing, but it can also be sometimes the most difficult thing to bring a voice to your feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does this allow people to do that? I think so, yeah. And it, like I said, it's a, it's a way to share some memories and, mm -hmm. and to say those goodbyes that you didn't get to say. And, um, and, and really, some people will just come to the garden and maybe not use the telephone, and that's okay too. Um, it's just really, when you're ready and then you're in a place to connect and that makes sense to you. Some people, you know, lots of pe people connect in different ways with their lost loved ones. And this is just one way that some people might find uh, a way to helpful. And, yeah. and very quickly, can you tell us a little bit more about the Positive Painting Project and, and how that started? Um, well, again, uh, you know, bringing honor in, in memory of our daughter, she had this great idea about using visual art to help people um, who are in crisis or struggling, um, really, and have mental health uh, concerns. And so she had this idea to use this visual art and we continued it. Um, after we lost her, like I said, we uh, reached out to Nancy Goldberg again, um, who, like I said, is just one of those people who knows how to make things happen. and. Um, she helped us put together the Positive Painting Project. And what we do is we bring 
set up like a painting station. Schools contact us. We, you know, it's just all by word of mouth and we're nonprofit only on donations, but we bring painting equipment, um, materials, and the students paint. It's wonderful. And they just paint. And then we take them, we screen print them with positive messages, um, like and then you matter. One, you matter. <laughs> um, and then they go back to the school and the schools yeah. make these murals, beautiful things. Thank you both so much for sharing Thank you. sharing all of this with us today. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. And the Telephone of the Wind is located in the backyard of the Maple Leaf along Sedwick Street. For more information on the project, you can head to our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll